Allen Ginsberg. He's the founder and co-chairman of the Naropa Institute Poetics Department since 1973. He's a member of the American Academy of Arts and Letters. He is a friend of Kerouac, a friend of all of us here. He has been an advisor and a guide to this conference since its beginning. Alan? Well, welcome, uh, all you uh, hungry ghosts, denizens of the human realm, the hell worlds, the uh, angry warriors, animals, vegetable worlds, and if anybody there's a, I've forgotten, welcome also. Uh, fellow beatniks, fellow hippies, fellow Americans, fellow Dharma heirs, fellow poets, fellow lovers, fellow banner bearers who collapsed on the spot, open-minded folk, fellow lovers of Jack Kerouac, welcome to um, Jack Kerouac's fans in the mass communications industry, in the silver diamond eyes of the cameras, and in the uh, Vajra or diamond writing pens of all poets and all journalists, and all prose writers, and all psychedelic kings, and uh, old friends. Uh, and welcome, most of all, all tender hearts. Uh, we're here to celebrate Jack Kerouac and the publication of On the Road, Silver Anniversary. And the thing that's preoccupied me all week, talking about it, yakking to the press, thinking about it, uh, uh, one tone that seems to make sense to everybody is uh, tenderness, uh, tender heart, a universal uh, desire, if not a universal experience. And so the desire itself is the experience of a tender heart. We're all, uh, as Kerouac pointed out, we're all uh, vulnerable. We have bodies which are aging. We may or may not all die. Uh, some might get their ass off the earth without dying. But generally speaking, uh, most of us expect old age, sickness, and death uh, in a kind of generous way. No problem with that. Rebirth if you want it, okay, if you insist. But <laughs> old lovers yet may have all that time denied. Grave is heaped on grave that they be satisfied, as William Butler Yeats said. So art, heart, tenderness. Art, heart, tenderness is the basic theme as far as I can see, and as far as I want, as far as my own desire, and as far as my own knowledge. As a gathering, we can assay what's happened in the last 25 years, which means 25 years of, uh, of uh, mindfulness and delicacy of pen, since almost everybody here writes. That's something that everybody shares, and everybody's been influenced on the page by Kerouac with that delicacy of pen. We can find out where we are now, where we've come in the last 25 years of so-called beat or hippie culture or psychedelic culture or space age culture or post-nuclear bomb culture, mainly open, tender, heart awareness culture. And uh, what we can do here, uh, including indulging in great orgies of delicious nostalgia, and re-meeting old friends, because there are some mighty old friends here, like uh, uh, great uh, uh, culture heroes, uh, humble worms, uh, people who've been like editing books and taking photographs and uh, writing ditties and suffering in silence or glorying in the spotlight. What we can also do is make some kind of uh, agenda or discuss an agenda for what we would like to happen to America and the world in the next quarter century, toward the end of the century. 
we can make art now here during this 10 day there'll be lots of poetry readings film showings films will be made many people are making films including Robert Frank who will be here tonight did Robert get here so Robert Frank will be making uh, an artwork of what is also a historic uh, meeting but there will also be the creation of an artwork as well on the spot lots of people will be writing poems and performing uh, as well as as well as scholarly uh, papers they'll be making up poems and performing poems and rock and roll here so that it's a festival of uh, making it up on the spot as well as well as checking out what happened in the past and making some kind of agenda for the future we can propound or uh, prophecy make prophecy or make some sort of oracle which will be the uh, formal agenda of the last day on August 1st we'll have a big picnic and then in the evening everybody of the teachers and poets who are here will get up on stage and speak their piece and either predict or request the gods or the non-gods or the spheres or the humans or the angry warriors or the hungry ghosts or the hell beings or the people up in heaven or the people in the human world or the animal worlds will be able to request what kind of uh, uh, organization and tone we'd like in the future uh, I think the main prophecy uh, for myself will be vulnerable, tender, tearful, heart, and uh, sensibility, sensitivity in America. It was the one major tone that you find throughout Kerouac's work, an awareness of our mortality and the transitoriness of our schemes and the fact that we're all living phantoms grasping in the emptiness of Chem 140 trying to <laughs> trying to define to be here to be here together and define what we're here for actually we're here for nothing but to enjoy the vast empty space to taste the immaterial golden ash that Kerouac spoke of as the essence of the universe not to be scared, no need for that have a good time, mighty joys, get laid, enjoy your drinking, enjoy your psychedelics if you have any, enjoy your meditation if you're smart enough to sit down for a while and do nothing. Uh, yeah. Like coming up as much as possible for now. Yes. Okay. Is that ready? <laughs> no, is it? Is that ready? Yeah, that's ready. Gate, gate. Pargate, parsam gate, bodhi swaha. Gate, gate, pargate, parsam gate, bodhi swaha. Gate, gate, pargate. Parsam gate bodhi swaha gate gate par gate parsam gate bodhi swaha gate gate par gate parsam gate bodhi swaha Gate, gate, par gate, par sam gate, bodhi swaha. Gate, gate, par gate, par sam gate, bodhi swaha. Gate, 
Bhargati 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 Bodhi Swaha Gati Gati Bhargati 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 Bodhi Swaha Gati Gati Bhargati Bhargati Bodhi Swaha Gati Gati Bhargati Bhargati Gati Bodhi Swaha Gati Gati Bhargati Bhargati Bodhi Swaha Gati Gati Parsam Gati, 